here almost every day. It's kind of like my, my family, my, my life is here now too because of just, it's what keeps me going and it's to strengthen and it's so good to keep the skills and the things I learned when I was in rehab and just to strengthen those muscles and muscle memory. And just as simple as it is, you know, just whether it's just lifting a weight and just which remind your brain and your body that I have this side, you have to keep using it. When I had the stroke, I was in great shape in my life. I was doing and re-entering into my modeling career, which I'm grateful for because that's helped me with my recovery. I had a great day at work, left the office, came to the gym here, and had a great workout. I ran, I think the day of, it was at least seven and a half miles that day. Then I met my boyfriend at the time at a restaurant left there, drove home. He found me at home. Sorry. Next to the bed. I woke up the next morning at Renown Hospital. I had no idea what happened. I was completely paralyzed for eight weeks. Renown helped me tremendously just with her staff that always gave me hope that I will make it, that I'll, I'll walk again, that I'll talk again, and I'll eat again, because I couldn't do any of those. So the Brown staff gave me the faith and the hope to never give up. I think the turning point is when I could feel myself that I could start using my arm again. I would probably say I'm about 90% in my recovery process and I'm not going to give up until I'm 100% back to myself, which is basically I'm getting the full mobility and full dexterity back of my left side.